Hey guys, it's Mike, and in this video I wanted to show you how to modify your slides, handouts, and notes. And we're going to talk about how to use Slide Master to add in a picture like this and a logo to all of your slides all at once. That'll save you time. So if I wanted this kind of logo on the left here with a background, kind of a faded image in the background to all my slides, one option would be to create this slide and then duplicate the slide and then keep going. But that doesn't give me a lot of creative freedom when I go to add a new slide or maybe if I want a different layout, maybe if I want like a video or something. So if I do like content with caption, if I add a different layout, then that's not applied. I just have to keep duplicating the same slide all over again. And that's not what I want. So what I really want is to have these layout options have that same picture and the banner um, on the left side, no matter what layout it is. So the way you can do that easily is to go to the View tab, and then we're going to choose Slide Master. So the Slide Master view is really kind of just a backstage view that controls different types of layouts. If you look at the one that it took us to when we clicked on Slide Master view, this would be the content with caption layout, and it's used by four slides right now. So that's just one type of layout, but if you really want to get to the Slide Master that controls all the different types of layouts, you have to scroll up to the top and click on this one. See how this is linked to all of the different types of layouts? So this is sort of like the king or queen of the castle here and this slide master controls the design of every single slide layout. So if we want to make changes here, uh, keep in mind you're not typing on this one, you're just making formatting changes. So don't type anything in these bullet levels, but if you want to format them, let's say I want to make all my bullet points, all my first level bullet points bolded, we would go to the uh, home tab here in this slide master view and click bold and now every time I add a first level bullet point it'll be mass it'll be um, bolded and maybe if I you know if I want to say bold every single uh, title as well and you'll notice in the different layouts that all the titles and the first level bullet points are now in bold um, if we don't need the time and date we can delete that as well and now they're deleted from all the layouts if I don't want the page number so now we're going to add that picture in so and then apply it to all our layouts. So let's say I'll go to online pictures and borrow a Centennial College logo. And then if we move it to the left and then we'll, we'll just get rid of this permissions because we know that we didn't copy and then resize this to the left. So we have sort of a banded and then I'm going to make sure that the content doesn't get blocked. So I'll make this content uh, placeholder a little smaller so that when we go to add bullet points, it's not blocked by the huge banner. And same with the title uh, text placeholder. And then I'll align them. And then we're also going to put a the picture of uh, the Progress Campus of Centennial College in the background. So online pictures, I'm going to type Centennial College again. And then I'll choose one with a nice background, maybe this one. This is the Progress Campus. And then I'm going to resize it so it fits kind of in the background. And then change the, I'm also going to change the uh, transparency as well. So I'm just going to resize it so it fits on this page. Maybe I'll just make it a little bigger and it'll scroll off the page, but that's okay. Um, and you see what's happening on the left? It's actually applying this to all the different types of layouts. So I'm going to change this transparency. Now, if you're not using a, a current version of PowerPoint, there's other ways to do this. You can do uh, color and choose washout, which is a great option, or something a little bit lighter. If you have a newer version of PowerPoint, you can use transparency. And there's other ways to change the transparency, but this is a little bit easier. OK, so now we have that picture as a background for all of our layouts. And then if we exit, so a part of getting into Slide Master is knowing how to exit Slide Master. And now so when we click on the Slide Master tab, when we say Close Master View, we can get out of this Slide Master View and go back to our presentation. So now if we check out the layouts that are available, they all have the banded image and they all have the background image. Uh, and it doesn't matter what layout. So if you want to be consistent, that's one way to do it. So let's walk that back a little bit. Let's say, okay, I don't want that logo and the background picture on every slide, but maybe every time I use the title and content slide, I'll use that kind of design. So 
Uh, to do that, you do the same thing as we did before. Click the View tab, click Slide Master, and this will take us into our Slide Master view. And then we have to go look for the title and content, um, the master of the title and content layout. So you can see it's this one here, and it has the title and content layout. So I'm going to get rid of the, the date, the footer, and the page number again. And then I'm going to do exactly what I did before, but now I'm just applying it to the title and content layout only. So I'm going to uh, look for my online picture again. And then again, just like before, we're going to move this into position. And then I'll make sure that the this is the content placeholder. So I'll make sure that fits and the title uh, placeholder fits as well. And I'll align them like that. And then we'll also add our ins well, online picture of Progress Campus to the background. Okay, so again, so once you add this picture, there's actually two ways to uh, have the, the wording on a page appear before this. You can do the washout effect, but even if you do the washout effect, it still covers my uh, text placeholders. So if you're using a older version of PowerPoint, what you want to do is actually, so what you want to do is actually affect the alignment. So you want to change the alignment to send to the back because it's a background image. So if I say send, so if I say send backwards, it's setting one step back, meaning that the object behind it will come forward. But if I set send to the very back, which you should do if you're using a background image, um, then you see that the text boxes now go in front of the image. So if you're uh, if you don't have that transparency option, that's another way you can use the faded effect. And then you also have to send the picture to the very back of the slide so that it's now a background image and it doesn't cover the title and content placeholders. All right, so that is it for our title and uh, content slide. Let's see if it actually works. So we're going to click the Slide Master tab again, say Close Master View. And then we don't see that it's applied because this is in our normal view. But if I was going to add a new slide, you can see that the title and content, whenever I add that slide, it has our branded logo here and the picture in the back. And that gives us a little bit more options because if I add a different kind of slide, this picture won't be affected. So maybe if it's too much to be on every slide, um, that can be an option for you. Just kind of um, change the layout slide master of one of the layouts. So one last skill I want to show you is how to create your own slide layout and how to modify it. So this is a really important skill for your MOS exam. And if you take a look at the layouts, let's say we came to these layouts and say these are great, but it's not something I want. I want to be a little bit more creative with a layout and I want to create my own layout. You can do that in the master slide view as well. So if we go to the view tab and click on it, click on the slide master icon. Um, we're going to scroll up and then what you're going to do is actually create your own layout. So we're going to insert a layout and that's what it's called. So it has no name right now. Uh, we can right click on it and rename layout. So maybe we're asked to call this the Centennial College Layout. Actually, layout comes after it. So if we just called it Centennial College, um, that's what it would be called. But on your exam, if you're asked to call it Centennial College Layout, include that in the name. But we'll rename this uh, Centennial College. And then you see this is the name here, Centennial College Layout, uh, used by no slides yet. And then we'll do the exact same thing we did before. So we'll just insert those two pictures. So here we have our two pictures from before, and you can see this is what the preview looks like if we zoom out a little bit. That's what our slide would look like. You have a little bit of a thumbnail right here, what the slide would look like. And you can also add in some different um, placeholders as well. So if we go to insert placeholder, maybe in this type of layout we want a picture, or let's put a text uh, box. So we said insert placeholder text, and then we're just going to come over here and kind of draw a shape by clicking and holding down on our mouse and dragging the mouse like this. So we put a text holder, a uh, text placeholder on the left, and then maybe we want to make a media placeholder on the right. So for pictures and videos and that kind of thing. So maybe we'll put a video 
uh, on the right here and just draw it out like a picture or sorry like a, a shape and that is our newly created Centennial College layout so if we go to slide master and then exit or close master view now you can see that if we if we add a new slide the Centennial College layout that we created it's right there and it's got the placeholders that we need. So if you want to be a little bit more creative, that's an option. You can create your own layouts, create your own layouts. And uh, this is a very important skill to know for your MOS exam.